2021 to current Ford F-150 Super Cab rear seats. Uh, this particular model, 60-40, what we call, so 60% behind the driver, 40% behind the passenger. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to install the backrest. Uh, the backrest is connected to the back of the cab, but there's a latch system that you need to reach behind. There's just a loop uh, to, to reach behind here to grab, and you're going to just essentially disconnect that. So what I did there is I stuck my hand down there, and I pulled on that latch to disconnect. Don't confuse that with the seatbelt strap here. Some people do get confused on, on that strap because it can be tucked behind or sitting on top of the seat. This one is hidden on that. Um, next, we'll put on the headrest covers. Um, it's easier to put those on while they're still on the truck. Um, so I just open up the Velcro. The long Velcro tabs go to the front. You can just simply slide that headrest cover on. I just kind of seesaw it back and forth. Get that to go on. And we can remove the headrest and temporarily remove the headrest by depressing these two push buttons to get that out. And you're going to pull that headrest tight, get everything nice and smooth there. Everything equaled out. You want to have the same amount of seat cover on each side. And center it so I can see here that I'm too far this way. Center that. You just want to pull sideways. You can just work the material around. Get that to be in center. Lastly, you're going to take these Velcros and tuck them under the back edge. And just press that down. Do that. Headrest cover installed. Just set that aside. Same with the middle headrest. Open the Velcro. Tabs go to the front. Slide that over. And I just seesaw that down into place. And you're going to lift up and depress those same two levers there. Slide that out. And you're going to want to pull down. Smooth out everything here. Again, you want to center that. That works pretty good. Tuck the hook velcro underneath the back edge. And just simply press that together. And we're going to set that aside. Uh, next, we'll install the driver top. Uh, the driver top is the 60% portion of the seat. And you can also see it has these long straps. You want to very carefully just disconnect those from the top of the cover. Um, you can tell the top of the cover from the bottom of the cover because the top has holes in it for the headrest. I'm going to carefully disconnect that and also disconnect these side velcros. You're just basically going to completely open the seat cover up. Next, you're going to just pull this thing forward. Seat cover is just going to go behind um, the seat belt here. There's no special openings needed. It's just fastened to the back of the cab. So in order to do so, we'll just take pull this over. Now you want to be careful. So what's happening here is this, this Velcro stick into the fuzzy carpet. Just be careful if it gets stuck. You don't just give it a yank because it is possible to tear this stuff off. And it's going to stick to everything. Okay. So we're going to take this inside. Over there, and you'll notice there's a nice cutout for where the seat belt box fits into there. 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 Um, we want to tuck the seat cover under the plastic for the headrest, starting with this push button side. So we're going to start on this side, and we're going to go across to the other side. We don't want to start from here and go this way. You could potentially damage that button. Okay, now I'm going to work that fabric around the top of the seat cover. And where I'm working this fabric is the fabric where this piece of material is sewn to this piece of material. I'm working that along the back edge, up along the top. As I get to this corner, I'll work that around the other way. Just helps that fit nicer. Here. There. Okay. I'm going to get all my Velcro lined out here. Pull this down. Notice the uh, the side of the seat cover has a rounded part. 
and you're going to want to fit that right around the rounded part there as well. That should just fit neatly right around that corner. I'm going to fit that corner. I'm going to do this inside corner here. I'm going to take and hold the cover in place while I tip that forward. I'm just going to grab one of these center Velcros just so everything kind of stays put. And I'm going to just hook that up there. We can reconnect if we need to to get that fit a little bit tighter. The next ones that we want to connect are these little they're one by six hook Velcros and we're going to attach those around to the sides here. There's a bit of loop Velcro sewn on the side so it's going to hook underneath the seat and it's going to fasten to that. What that'll do is it's going to spread the face of that seat cover out. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to just take that Take that little guy and tuck it underneath. As you can see all that stuff is kind of hooking to where you don't want it to. So I'm going to pull that up pretty hard. I'm going to pull that up until pretty much flush here with the plastic. Then I'm going to pull this side down. Then I'll sweep my hand down the side as well, helping form that to the cover. I'm going to pull that in. Just connect that velcro right there. Okay. Now we'll come back over to this side. Cut this little guy through here. And same thing with this one. Be careful. It's really sticking to everything. So we're gonna really pull this one up. That velcro is gonna lay right there in the side, and we're gonna take this pretty forceful. Pull that thing down and connect it. All right. Then lastly, we can go to connecting all of these big ones. Now notice there's loop Velcro sewn on the inside here, and we want that to stay away from the latch. We're just going to fasten that up. This one feels pretty good. and sweep your hand down the front of the seat and tighten them up a little bit but you don't want to get them too tight it's possible to get these things too tight and crush your seat you don't want to do that so that backrest is done and as you get it done it should be a uh, nice and snug on there next we'll be installing the driver's bottom um, on the inside You'll see DB abbreviated for driver's bottom. And you'll notice that the extending hook Velcros sticking out here, they go to the top, the top side of the seat. They make an opening for the seat belt here. It's also a couple little pieces of uh, hook Velcro to stick to this fuzzy carpet right back here. So in order to put this on, what I'll do is I'll just put the seat up partway, not click it up all the way into the backrest, put it up partway. And I'll slide over the middle. And you notice as you get to sliding it on here, this Velcro is also going to stick to the underside of the seat. So you can curl it to kind of get it out of the way. You just want to work each side down a little bit at a time. Here. Um, and here again, here's one of those corners where I'm going to take the, the fabric from the seat cover. So I kind of work that all into the middle right there. Okay, the other thing we're going to notice is that strap. We have an opening for that, right where that goes. So that's your seat release strap. There we go. an extra little flap of material back here that has a couple of velcros on it you just want to tuck this to the inside of this seat belt here okay then I'm gonna take and tuck this back in make sure that that seat belt is sticking on top there 
This is going to tuck underneath this plastic here. I'm going to pull this back. See how we're pulling back? And that's just tightening that side of that seat cover there. I'll take this. Um, child restraints here. If in fact um, you want those child rest ex exposed, we make an opening for the seat cover right where that is. And then there'll be a little piece of hook Velcro behind that to stick to that fuzzy carpet. This particular customer wasn't carrying kids, so we just covered over the top of them. I'm gonna take this and tuck it along underneath that plastic there. That's gonna really help hold that cover down into that little recession there. And we're gonna lift the seat up, go ahead and click it into the backrest. So you're going to be pulling down on this. You don't want to have that thing release and clobber you. Just to get this out of the way, I'm just going to temporarily hook that up there. Um, next, you'll reach underneath here, and you're going to reach and feel for these extending hook Velcros. We're going to pull a little tight, and we're going to fasten right to that fuzzy carpet on the underside of the seat. Grab the remaining three here and kind of hook them from one side to the next. Make sure that they're spread nicely. Um, we'll go ahead and take a look, see what it looks like on the top side. Looks good. We'll lift this back up, put that in. Then we're going to connect these side Velcros. Here, I'm going to start by connecting this front one here and then do the back one. Okay, and what that's gonna do is it's gonna keep that seat cover away from these seat belts. When you lift it up and down, they'll still operate nicely. Lastly, I'm gonna fasten the hook Velcro to the fuzzy carpet down here under the seat. The passenger seat bottom installs the same way um, has the same hook Velcros there, with the exception of there's no center seat belt. The passenger top, uh, which is labeled PT on the inside, installs the same way as the driver top, um, with the exception of the latch behind the seat um, is activated right here by uh, that pull strap. So in order to put the cover on, You're just going to do headrests and then you just feel behind for that pull strap, stick it through that opening and then you're going to fasten all the same Velcros the same way as we did the backrest of the driver.